Good day One World Flyers squad, welcome back to another Thursday video. Today is actually Monday morning here at Sydney Airport Terminal 2 and I'm catching the first Virgin Australia flight to Adelaide today. So I expect to be a really full one. Now join me to go check in and no lounge and on board the flight to Adelaide. Welcome back to Terminal 2. When you step into Terminal 2 on the left hand side you'll find Virgin Australia check in. For those who didn't check in online, you can do so at those kiosks. You can print out your boarding pass and your bag tag and then stick that bag tag onto your suitcase then move on to the backdrop counters. Virgin Ostra. So I just checked in, gone through security, it was very quick. Um, the lounge unfortunately is still closed only the one in brisbane airport is open uh the spoke people the person the spoke person sorry from virgin said that once the, the once the demand picks up at sydney airport for for virgin flights they'll reopen terminal 2 has a large food court you'll find lots of cafes and outlets here About 50% of the shops here are still closed due to COVID. So no lounge, um, don't want to pay for food, so I've got my own banana. Watching planes here with my friend. This is Zemrex flight EK2666 arriving from Dubai. Then here we've got a special Virgin 737. It's no longer a Virgin plane, it's now a Rex plane. Rex Original Express Airline is going to start flying between capital cities next year. Across the runway you've got a Cathay 7478 freighter. And then that's a United UA863 arriving from San Francisco. That's our aircraft today. A nine-year-old Virgin Australia Boeing 737-800, Victor Hotel, Yankee, India, Delta. Hi there. Hello. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yep. Here's my seat today, 22F. Every seat is about 17 inches wide. Your seat pitch or leg room is about 30 inches. Now let's go through the seat features. Your leather seat looks really fresh. You can adjust your headrest up and down and also on the sides. You've got a cot hook here. You've got no entertainment screen. Your tray table can be moved back and forth, but you can't fold it. You've got one seat pocket and another pouch for a bit more storage. To maximize your 
maximize space, please place smaller bags and heavier items under the seat in front of you and only larger bags in the lockers above. Wheels first where possible, ensuring there's nothing in the aisle or exit. Make sure you're in your allocated seat with your seatbelt fastened. And as always, smoking and the use of electronic cigarettes is never okay on board. Feel free to use your mobile until we've closed the last cabin door. And if you need a hand with anything, let us know and we'll be right with you. So, back to team testing to have you on board this flight over to Adelaide. Uh, how awesome is it to see an aeroplane full of passengers? Good times ahead. Uh, we'll be underway pretty shortly in a couple of minutes' time. And, uh, We'll be pushing back obviously and heading out for a very short taxi for a departure heading off uh, to the south down of Sydney today and uh, on our way to Adelaide. Great day for flying. Once we get on top of the cloud, it's clear skies, blue skies, good visibility all the way to Adelaide. And an excellent day waiting for us in Adelaide as well. Clear skies, a light south west breeze, temperature around about 22 degrees. Uh, flight time over there is 1 hour 55 minutes. Obviously we'll try and better it, but at this stage uh, that flight time and combined with the short taxi is going to get us uh, on the deck over to in Adelaide pretty much on schedule, if not a couple of minutes early anyway. But uh, obviously we'll be back in towards the end of the flight with some data for off into motion. Really remind before we do uh, push back as well, once we do start pushing back from the terminal, the cabin crew are going to do their safety demonstration. Just kindly ask that you give them your full attention to that important safety routine as well. Once again, great to have you on board. Awesome. Thank you. Well, we know many of you fly often. We'd appreciate if you could post any devices while we thank everyone for the safety demonstration. And just before we begin, please note that in the unlikely event emergency oxygen is needed, you are required to immediately remove your face mask and then feed the oxygen mask from above. As always, it's best to have your seatbelt fastened whenever you're seated. The cabin will be pressurized during the flight, but if oxygen is needed, masks will drop from the unit above you. Immediately pull the mask down to start the flow of oxygen. Quickly place it over your nose and mouth and secure the strap.
crew have already begun their meal service while they're looking after the customer sitting out of front of the cabin. I'll quickly show you the entertainment option on board today's flight. So there's a Virgin Australia Wi-Fi here. However, internet access is not available during COVID. There is in fact an entertainment app that you can download before your flight. You can watch movies and listen to music, etc, etc. But I forgot to download that so I can't show you on today's flight and I do apologize for that. So this is the meal on today's flight. It's a muesli bar and for drinks there's only a cup of water. Refilling your own bottle of water is currently not available due to hygiene reasons. We're soon landing into Adelaide Airport and the cabin crew are now preparing the cabin for landing. So let's quickly conclude this trip airport right here right now. So at Sydney Airport check-in was really easy. If you haven't done your check-in online you can do so at the kiosk and then if you have got a bag to check-in to drop you can do so at the counters. Unfortunately today if you're a frequent flyer or you're flying in business class there's no lounge but as of editing this video today in December, the lounges have reopened. Finally, the ones in Sydney, Brisbane and Melbourne have reopened. Perth, Adelaide and others are still closed. Upon boarding your flight VA414 to Adelaide, you can grab a free face mask and a hand wipe. They're totally free of charge and if you need more on board, you can ask the cabin crew on board. It is now mandatory to wear a face mask if you're flying to and from or within South Australia. However, on today's flight, some people weren't wearing that and the cabin crew didn't make it mandatory as well. Perhaps it's a new rule, so the cabin crew weren't even aware of that. The ground crew didn't mention a word about face mask as well. My neighbor actually boarded the plane without a face mask. He then tried to reach out for a cabin crew so that he could get a face mask. However, everybody was still boarding the plane, so he had trouble doing so. Then his another neighbour sitting at the aisle seat offered him a face mask from the Qantas Flywell pack, which is a bit funny. I, for one, have only got face masks from Virgin Australia and Qantas, and also the ones from SA Government when they were handing them out for free in Rundle Moor during Black Friday. There's nothing too much else to comment about today's flight. It's an ordinary domestic flight. However, it's worth mentioning that the captain's announcement before landing was really touching and appreciative. Only one person on the flight clapped after that announcement and it was my neighbour. I would have actually clapped as well, however I was filming so I didn't have hands. Last but not least, my flight today is really bloody expensive, 253 Australian dollars one way. Now here we are, One World Flight Squad. When you fly again, please remember to share your journey with me with this special hashtag on Instagram so I see where you're going. And thank you, thank you so much for watching this video today. It's my final video of the bloody year of 2020. I'm 
I'm so glad we made it through. Please remember to like this video, comment down below and share this video with your aviation friends. And if you haven't subscribed, you're missing out so much. I upload a new trip report every Thursday, 12pm Hong Kong time and that's 3pm in Sydney, 2.30pm in Adelaide. Thanks again so much for watching this video. Happy New Year, all the best for 2021. And for those interested in watching in the Q&A, as per usual, it will be at the end of the video. See you there later. Last minute cheeky lavatory tour right here, right now.
Hello, welcome back to Q&A. Today I'll answer five questions and they're all from Snapchat. So the first one is, would you ever, fl would you ever learn to fly a plane? Uh, I think so, but not now. I want to do that. I want to learn to fly a plane uh, maybe after I graduate and I'm not going to be a pilot. I just want to fly for fun, really. Second question, how do you make the money to afford the tickets for all the planes you go on? Uh, I earn money from you guys when you guys watch my ads, when you guys purchase the VPN, uh, the wallet through my special links in the description, and also Patreon and YouTube memberships. Those are my five main source of income. I've also recently picked up an internship, but it's unpaid, so hopefully it will be paid soon. When are you going to do some Adelaide plane spotting? Uh, when the planes come back from overseas, um, I don't really see a point doing plane spotting right now because I'm so used to having planes coming in and out like every single second and every single minute. Like Adelaide is just too little traffic for me. How old are you? I'm 20, turning 21 soon. Gosh. And at... What age was your first flight? I was one. I was doing Virgin Atlantic from Hong Kong to Heathrow with my mum and my sister. My sister was going to go to... Uh, my sister was on her way to Belfast for her secondary school education, so I tagged along. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Happy New Year and see you in 2021. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.